Okay guys, so what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to set our theme to the Argent theme and then we're going to create a custom header image. So if you've done everything um, up until this point in the assignments, you have the 2012 theme set in WordPress and you've got your custom header, header in there. So I know it's been a while since we've used WordPress. So I'm going to start from the very beginning. Um, this is where you'll be right when you log into your WordPress. So you're just going to go up to My Sites. And then if you've got multiple sites, within your WordPress account. If you click switch sites, you can see all of your sites and you might only have the one you're using for this class. So I'm gonna click on my site that I'm using and then I'm gonna to go to WordPress admin to get to my dashboard area. Okay, so here's your dashboard. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is change the theme. One thing you wanna get used to is kind of previewing what your site looks like to a visitor. To do that, you're always gonna go up to my sites hover over that, and then just go down and click on View Site. So here's what we're looking like. Um, you guys should have done your custom header. You've got your posts page. That's an example of one of the assignments you would have submitted. So that's sort of where you are now. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go back to our dashboard by going again to My Sites, and then going to WordPress Admin. So to change, to do a lot of what we're gonna be doing in here, you'll go to the Appearance tab. So under the Appearance tab, go ahead and go to Themes. This should be somewhat familiar. This is what we did when we changed the theme to 2012. Uh, depending on the browser you're using, you may or may not have a Search Themes area. If not, unfortunately, you're just going to have to scroll to find the Argent theme. So it's A-R-G-E-N-T, Argent. There it is. I'm just going to go ahead and hit Activate. And you can just close out of this box. Okay, so let's go ahead and view the site now that we've activated that theme. So you'll see we don't have much here yet. We've got to do a lot of configuring that I'll do in later tutorials. Right now what we're worried about, and you should have looked at the example site already, um, is we're going to fill this sort of gray area here. That's going to be a custom header image that we create. So I'm, um, I'm going to go again to my admin, so my sites, and go to my admin page. Again, I'm going to go to appearance, and this time I'm going to choose customize. This is another area you want to get familiar with under appearance customize. You've got all these options over here. So go ahead and go to header image, and you'll see that it says um, that your image should be 2,000 pixels by 380 pixels. So I've already sort of strategically chosen the four images that are going to make up my home page on my website. So you should have thought about that before you get to this step. Uh, so assuming that I've chosen that picture that I'm going to use for my header, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a photograph. It could be um, an illustration. Maybe you want to use some vector icons from the Noun Project. It could be something that you draw in Photoshop. So don't limit yourself to just using photographs. I went to unsplash.com. They've got um, royalty-free photographs that you can use. That's a great resource to use if you want to find some um, copyright-free images for your final project. So I'm going to go to File, Open, and I'm going to open the photograph that I've chosen to use for my header. So there it is, and let me just clear these so we can start from scratch together. Um, so I'm going to get my crop tool on my toolbar. And I know that the dimensions of my header, because WordPress just told me for this particular theme, the header dimensions are 2000 pixels by 380 pixels. So up here in the cropping area, your default, you're probably going to see where it says ratio. You want to change that to width times height times resolution. So then in our width here, we're going to enter in 2000. And to be safe, you might want to put PX. You want to make sure you're in pixels, not inches. And then in the next field, I'm going to put in 380 PX. Hit tab. Then I'm just sort of going to ignore resolution. So what's inside this window is what's actually going to show up. And I'm going to cut off the palm trees a little bit. And you'll probably think that's odd, but you'll see why I'm doing that in a second. So I want mine, I'm just going to do that. I want to leave that middle area blue. And again, you'll see why in a moment. Okay. 
Okay, so you'll see inside is what's gonna what I'm gonna keep after I hit the return or enter key on my keyboard. So I'm gonna hit it, hit this key. You actually have to hit it twice. I'm gonna hit enter one more time, and there you'll see that it's actually cropped. Now I'm gonna go and just double check that this is the correct dimensions because again, if you're in inches or some weird dimension, it's gonna mess up when you try to put it in WordPress. So to check your dimensions, you can just go to image, image size. Perfect, so I'm at 2,000 pixels by 380 pixels. I'm gonna hit OK. And then I'm just gonna save for web. So remember, any photo that you're putting on the web in Photoshop, you should do save for web. You want it to be a JPEG. So make sure you've got it as a JPEG because it is a photograph. At a quality of 100, I'm at 250 kilobytes. That's fine, I don't have that many photos I'm putting on this page, so I'm okay to be at 250 kilobytes. You wouldn't want it to be over a megabyte. I'm gonna go down here and hit save. And it's a good idea to name your photos strategically for search engine optimization. So I'm gonna put my name in there. You might wanna name it with your name. I'm going to call it ktappen1.jpg. I'm just going to hit save. All right, so back in WordPress, I'm going to go add new image. I'm going to go to upload files. Select files, and I'm just going to browse for that image wherever you saved it. Bear with me, mine is buried deep within my files. All right, there we go, okay, it's happened. Now at this point over here, I'm not gonna count off. It's a great idea to put alternate text to put your name. Again, this is for search engines. I'm gonna hit select and crop. We've already sized it in Photoshop, which is what you should always do in WordPress, otherwise your pictures are gonna get distorted and pixelated. Do not use the WordPress crop option. So I'm gonna hit skip cropping. And there's my image. So you'll see why. I'm gonna go back to, click this little back arrow to get back to my customize area. I'm gonna to go to site title and tagline. See where it says display header text? This is your personal site, so put your name in here. There you go. So now you see why I left all this blue back here. Had there been a palm tree sort of in this area, the K Tappan color would not show up at all. So that's why I did that. Now you have a couple options. This is one option. So if you want to save and publish, just hit save and publish. Again, go to my sites, view site. So that's one option, okay? I've got my site title here, K Tappan, whatever your name is. I want to show you a second option, and that's to put this text here, create that text in Photoshop on the photo itself, and then turn this part off, okay? So option two, let's go ahead and go back to our admin area, My Sites, WordPress Admin. I'm going to go down to Appearance, and then I'm going to go to Customize. All right, so I'm gonna go back to Photoshop and I'm gonna create this second option. So you can do either one. I'm just gonna close this and start fresh. Not save. Okay, so this time I'm gonna put my own text in and you'll notice the presets are left over from my previous photo. Oops, so I don't really need to um, reset the 2,000 pixels by 380 pixels. But I am going to I want to get more palm trees in there. So I'm going to do that this time. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is create my text in Photoshop. So I'm going to get my type tool to draw a text box. I'm going to type my name, K Tappen. And the reason you might want to do this in here is that you can have more control over the typeface and the color that you use. WordPress, you're kind of limited to the Argent theme template. So I'm going to put my name in um, Avenir. This to be sort of bold. I'm going to size it up to 
60 points, it's still a little small. I'll try 72. Okay, I'm gonna make my text white. So I'm actually just gonna switch this to make it white. There we go, okay. And I'm just gonna, okay, so there it is. So it's not really, drag it around and kind of center it, just eyeball it. It's not really showing up very well. I'm gonna get my type tool. I think I'm gonna size it up maybe one bit larger. I don't wanna to go too big, it'll look kind of horsey. So let's try like 90 points. And again, this is just use your eye. Yours does not have to look just like mine. You can do whatever color you want with this text. You just wanna make sure you have some nice contrast against whatever background photograph or graphic or illustration that you're using. Maybe you have a white background and you just have your name in a solid color and that's fine. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a very subtle drop shadow to make this stand out a little bit more. So down here, I'm gonna click on my type layer to make sure that it's active. I'm gonna go to effects at the bottom of my layers, choose a drop shadow, drag this out of the way. You wanna make sure that preview is ticked. So that looks good, that drop shadow is not too hideous or terrible. I'm gonna hit okay. I'm gonna get my selection tool, just drag this around one more time to make sure it's somewhat centered. I'm, you'll see I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Probably not the best idea. Okay, there we go. So that's your second option for a header. So I'm going to go to File, again, Save for Web. And notice I'm at 575 kilobytes. That's a little bit large, so let's um, decrease our quality a little bit. Okay, so 46, I'm at 146, that's fine. That looks fine. So I'm gonna go down to save. I'm gonna call this ktapn2. Since I already have a one in there, just hit save. Okay, so back in WordPress, I'm gonna go back to header image. And I'm just gonna choose add new image. Upload files. Happen to. Again, for alternative text, I'm just going to put my name in there. If someone Googles me, I want this to come up. I'm going to hit select and crop and then just skip cropping. There you go. Now, obviously, this looks weird. So, what I want to do now is get back into the customize area. I'm going to go to site title and tagline. And I'm just going to uncheck display header text. And it, Kind of a glitch, you get this black box there, don't worry about that. Just go ahead and go to save and publish. Just X out of here. I'm gonna go ahead and preview my site. So I'm gonna go to my sites and then just view site. So there's your other option. So for your header, again, lots of choices. Your background doesn't need to be a photograph. It might just be a white background in Photoshop with your text and the solid color created in Photoshop. There are a lot of options here. You just want to make sure that your text is very, um, has good contrast with your background so you can read it. And again, it's perfectly fine to use the Argent theme header text in there. If you'd rather use that than your own text in Photoshop, it's, it's totally up to you.